This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and he manifested his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. We believed in him. We did not all believe in the miracle. No, not you, Thomas. You found it hard to believe. Well, I wasn't there. No, you were at the dinner table, delighted by the miracle of carob sauce and honey cake. <laughs> I, re I remember, though. And everywhere we talked, everywhere we went, they talked about the sign. There was... I talked to that's sort of the Sanhedrin. Nicodemus, one of the rulers, sought out Jesus. He found him at night, asking questions. We know that you are from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is in him. Remember, Jesus enjoyed that interview. Ancient truth in dialogue with truth itself. <laughs> Jesus said to Nicodemus, Unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Born again? How can a man... That is not a phrase for a man of learning. Born again? How can a... How can a man be born when he is old? Man cannot enter into his mother's womb again. Can he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nicodemus, don't be confounded by this truth. But how can these things be? And you, a teacher of Israel, don't understand. If it is true, I want to understand it. But we sit in the council about such matters. We are responsible for what we teach the people, and what we allow the people to learn from others. And to me, there's a, there's a mystery about all your teaching. A mystery confirmed by miracles. Teach me. Give me understanding. If I have told you of earthly things, and you have not understood or believed, then how will you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to believe without reason. But if there is a means to life eternal, I would be a fool to let my ignorance stand in my way. These signs that you do clear my mind of stubbornness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Ah, you speak often of love. Is the beginning of God found in love? I love my calling. I love my children. I love my way of life. Is this verb a doorway to the kingdom? But God so loved the world that he gave his own... Oh, God. it isn't giving. I give. I, I give my time. I give my scholarship. I give my attention to the love. Yeah, but, but God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So oh, those uh, the, but you, we, teach of, we teach of the Messiah that is to come. It's a teaching grows stale, much waiting. But it's still a teaching. The prophets focus us unto this time. I can believe that. God might, might send. No, he, he, God gave. He gave. A gift? A prophet of God is a gift? <clears throat> His only begotten son. But wh why, teacher? Why would God, why the son of God, teach what has not been taught? Well, would he say what has not been said? Why would God give His son? so that those that believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Then he, then he must say what has not been said. I, I will think of this. I will 
study this. We'll give your teaching much consideration. Nicodemus, he who dwells in the truth will come to the light. A second sign Jesus performed also in this place. Uh, and there was a certain royal official who came to Jesus because his son was sick. gone to Cana to see the man Jesus, who had turned the water into wine. Our son was sick, on the point of death, and we hoped that the Jew who had performed the miracles might heal our boy. Worry flourishes on a bed of idleness. I was glad to have many things to do. There were the household staff and the other servants. But my mind never left that still small room where that one boy lay hot with fever. The servants tended him as best we could. Cool baths and herb compresses piled high upon his head, like a tiny turban. His body wrapped in an unnatural stillness. I left the house. And I went to the garden, as though I might call upon its coolness for my son. And this royal official came to Jesus, beseeching him for the healing of his son. Now, Jesus knew that the miracles Jesus suffered is like an act. Teacher! And at times it seems to weary him. Teacher! 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 I come from Capernaum! Master, my son is ill. He's... he's dying. Come with me to my home. Again, it is but for signs and wonders that you have come. If you would, but Master. Master, my son is ill. My son Antonio is dying. Hurry, the call from Lourdes has already gone out. If you can heal, if you can believe. Sir. Sir. I believe there is no hope but for you. Silence and solitude are to long impacted weariness like sun and rain to seated blue. Beside my son's bed I was strong. There I knew the lie of strength. I was stiff. And weary and very weak. I sat facing our sundial. How slowly the sun counts the hours of waiting. I didn't even know what I was waiting for. I didn't share my husband's belief in the healing power of Jesus. But I'd heard of the miracle. <laughs> oh, my baby. My son. Antonio. We must hurry. Your son.
son is already well. <laughs> Do you believe? I believe you have great power. Go your way. Your son is well. Oh, madam, madam! I cannot answer. I must hear the news. Oh, madam, here you are, and I have searched the house for you. Come quickly. Madam, hurry to good news, madam. Not to bad. The fever has broken. There was a sudden flushing of his face, and then a sweat so strong it seemed very flesh did weep. Now he turns his head to see beyond the blankness of his stupor. You live. Oh, he is well to living now. I have nursed the grieving bedside so many times before, but never seen one brought so low, so quickly lifted back to life. <laughs> now, hurry to your child. He calls for you. And for water? And for food? My husband! Send word to my husband. Oh, yes, the centurion. Oh, I've never seen one so distraught. Then the servant. And as the centurion was going out, the servant met him along the way. Master, your son! Your son! Yes, tell me. Master, your son is well, the fever gone. He was eating custard when I left. Your wife was with him. Just as I was leaving, sir, your wife was beating him and laughing. No, no, when did the when did, when did, when was he better? Well, it was after new, the noon meal, sir, because we had served it already, though no one ate except for the nurse, and your wife did not come when to the table. When did the fever leave him? Uh, I'm trying to think, sir. It must have been one o'clock, for we had cleared the platters, and... That's when the teacher said to me, your son will live. <sighs> come, I'll tell you as we travel. And he himself believed, and his whole house. Now this thing Jesus did as he was going out of Judea and into Galilee. There is a feast of the Jews called the Passover. And in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called Bethesda. And there lay a multitude of the sick, the weak, and the widowed, waiting for the movement of the waters. 